very good evening students in today's class i'll be talking about variation of ionization energy on moving down the group i've taken a specific example of group number 13 the members of group number 13 are boron aluminum gallium indium and thallium for indian students let me give you a simple way to learn group 13 members i call it the vegetable group why so because i've learned it that way bangan alu gajar in thala i repeat bangan alu gajar in thala that's just a way to remember it so i call the group 13 as the vegetable group with bangan alu gajar in and thala now moving to the atomic number let me give you a help in learning that too for the first member i hope none of you has a problem to identify what would be the atomic number for boron which is 5 add 8 to it you end up in the second 13 now add 18 to it you end up in the atomic number 31 add another 18 to it you end up in the atomic number 49 add another 32 to it what do you get on adding 32 to it you get 81 so that was easy if you have to locate the elements the atomic numbers of elements below in a particular group if you know the first Go on, add eight. Go on, add eighteen. Go on, add another eighteen. Then add a thirty-two. Now this is practically applicable to all groups from group thirteen to eighteen. But if you are in group one and two, then you would have to take up two additions of eight, and then two additions of eighteen, and then one addition of thirty-two. We'll get you the atomic number of the last member in that particular group. Now moving to the electronic configuration on the basis of quantum model. 1s2 2s2 2p1 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p1 the 13 electrons i end up in a 3p1 here or a 2p1 here i hope the trend is pretty clear 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 3p10 and then a 4p1 similarly we end up here you have a 5s2 4d10 5p1 and here you have a 6s2 followed by a 4f14 5d10 and then a 6p1 this is how you have the electronic configuration of the elements whenever you move down where you have an incorporation of 3d once you move from gallium aluminum to gallium you have a 4d10 on moving from gallium to indium and you have a f as well as a d when you move towards thallium now down the group the size increases since the size increases nuclear nuclear charge per electron decreases if the nuclear charge felt per electron is decreasing therefore the force of attraction that the electron feels towards the nucleus is decreasing therefore energy required to remove the electron should decrease and it does on moving down the group the ionization energy would always decrease is what we know now there are certain exceptions always towards the last three members whenever you have a d or an f incorporated there is a poor shielding effect down the group towards the last members presence of d and f subshells leads to poor shielding effect if the poor shielding effect is there then it causes z effective that is the effective nuclear charge increases if the effective nuclear charge is increasing the electron removal becomes tough so the ionization energy is expected to increase but normally on moving down the group we expect that the electron removal is going to be easy but it does not become as easy as you go towards the last members in fact surprisingly the ionization enthalpy of helium and aluminum it is ionization enthalpy of helium which is higher than aluminum which is a commonly asked exception down the group the ionization energy should decrease Hence, we expected that gallium, being below aluminium, should have a 
lower ionization energy. But what is found is contrary. The ionization energy of helium is found to be higher than that of aluminium and everything is due to these 10 electrons in the D subshell which have got a poor shielding effect. So it leads to an effective nuclear charge increase. Hence, helium is found to have a higher ionization energy in comparison to aluminium. This is the only specific case in the whole periodic table where you find the third member having a higher ionization energy than the second member contrary to the normal rule. But as far as the last two members are con concerned, always their atomic radii are almost same because of the incorporation of the F subshell which has the poorest shielding effect. So the nuclear charge, effectivity of the nuclear charge increases. Hence, the ionization energy does not decrease much. In fact, the last two members have almost same ionization energies normally. So when we talk about ionization energies of indium and thallium, they are almost same last two members generally have almost similar ionization energy and it rests on their shielding effect due to the presence of D and F suction. So I conclude my class with the statement down the group ionization energy should decrease. Electron removal should become easy because the atomic radii is increasing. But in the last members whenever you have a D or an F incorporated it leads to a poorer shielding effect which causes the effective nuclear charge to increase. Hence, the decrease in ionization energy is very, very less. Also, in group 13, we in fact find a slight increase in ionization energy on moving towards gallium in comparison to aluminium, which is an exception and a commonly asked question. With this, I end my class. Have a good day. Thank you.